too many tragedies in too little time. As journalists, we work to get you the pictures and details as fast as we can. And psychologists say it's only human to want to watch. We live our lives on the move, spending time at home, at work, or school. Most of us are so comfortable in our surroundings, we don't even think about what we'd do if someone began shooting. I wrote a letter to my father telling him that um, I forgave him. And um, so that was my year. <laughs> A year here at Lansing's Teen Challenge, a year that allowed Jason Adams to tackle his drug addiction. It was a year that gave him hope, something he didn't have just a few years before when his life was spiraling out of control. At lunchtime, I'd have to take five or ten, and then at two o'clock, before I got out at five, I'd have to take five or ten, and then on my way home, I'd take five or ten, and then, you know, it just, it, it was never enough. It was a growing monster. Seventy pills a day. At four bucks a pop, it was a $280 drug habit that eventually landed Jason behind bars. It just was a big, gigantic snowball that, that um, got out of control. A varsity athlete, actress, honor student, I was above average in high school with dreams of going to college to swim. I was happy and healthy, ready to start the next chapter of my life. I went to Grand Valley State University where I worked extremely hard to make a name for myself on the varsity swim team. And, the, and she had some great performances and is one of our top distance swimmers in school history. But just as soon as success came to me, it was all torn away. I started having stomach pain, loose bloody stool. I stopped eating, had fevers. All so badly I couldn't swim, I couldn't eat. I virtually stopped living. That was some tough times. We didn't know what it was that she had and what, what didn't understand what this disease was, and it was a learning curve for us and a scary one. It took four doctors, two and a half years, countless blood tests, MRIs, x-rays, and endoscopies to finally get me the answer I was longing for. Amy had a pretty typical story of ulcerative colitis, but over time, things started to change. Here are the hikes. Fishing licenses from seven to $10, that will generate 11.3 million. The ORV permits going from 1625 to 2625, raising 2.7 million. And looking for those files through the health department, that will go from 26 to 34 dollars, raising 1.5 million. Well, golfing kind of it helps that release of the stress. It gets my mind off of things. Is that is that tough? Is that tough to take your mind off of, off of everything you're dealing with and everything you're going? Pretty much because. Um, my mind's not just on the things that I'm going through, but what my family's going through, my daughter's going through, uh, you know, what's going through their heads constantly. One constant he's been sure of, their love and their understanding of his decision, both in terms of the course he took with cancer and his desire to be on this course. Late at night, I turned to Google, looking for insight and confidence to have a pair of surgeries that became a when, not an if. Everything else hadn't worked up till that point. I wondered what was so certain this would. And Amy was still deliberating things. She was getting sicker. And time was kind of starting to become pretty precious for Amy. I'm nervous. No, oh, no, no nerves. Because even if he's had his final drive here, the drive to live the rest of his life to the fullest is truly inspiring, no matter how, you slice it. There you go, nice shot. And since he's been given a second chance, Jason's now helping others fight for the same, trying to end a dangerous addiction before it's too late. I'm always telling our photographers on the road, show me the city. Dave Parks, our chief photographer. Will you show me the mountains? The San Gabriel Mountains run for the roses continues in a moment. I don't care if I ever get back. Isn't it gorgeous? Stay with us.